So where do you get your chickens from? Yeah, but you don't even know where they're raised. You know? I mean, you're falling for the propaganda a little bit. Like. Showing people the footage that I gathered from the farms that I recently visited for the Uncovered campaign. Today we're showing people the parent breeder sheds. It's like a pretty hidden part of the chicken industry. Guy's actually eating chicken nuggets as he's walking past looking at the sign. He could very well be eating like one of these, one of these birds who've been spent. They get eaten too. These parent breeders. So most likely a chicken nugget or something like that. They, those birds turned out to be, and he walked past eating one. Hey brother, how are you? you doing, all right? Sorry, Good. I don't want to go on camera. That's all right. But no, that's all right. Let's have a chat. Yeah, yeah. I see you on a lot on, on social media and stuff. Yeah. Like your video is quite intriguing. Yeah. So in terms of online, right? You probably see a lot of like, yeah. the ones that are more bullish, more maybe aggressive. Are probably the ones that make the cut. But do you find people are quite receptive generally? Because obviously this is quite hard to see for a lot of people. Yeah, 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 no, so I, just I, I actually... Just, I'm not trying to be funny about it. Most that. people are pretty receptive, like... Yeah. Um, I saw the guy at minute ago you were talking to. Him. Yeah, he was pretty receptive. Most people agree that this is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's... Yeah. But then it's like, do you want to change? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You, know, you could be yeah. like, oh, wow, this is bad. I know it's bad, but yeah. is it bad enough to make you change your uh, yeah, lifestyle? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. So are you a vegan? I'm not. I'm working my way towards it, but I'm okay. not right now. But. So what's your holding you back do you agree that this is uh, bad do you know what this shed let me just explain what this shed is by the way this is a parent breeder facility so these are the mums and dads of the chickens that people eat oh i see okay so they fertilize the eggs the eggs go off to an incubator they hatch and then they take those chicks to a big barn and then people eat those chickens yeah, yeah so these parents are just being forced to mate in this facility yeah, yeah. yeah. and then they get they get killed when they're no no we we'll just walk in there i mean we don't Anything. Yeah, yeah, cool. Just uh, walk in, document, like we're not, we don't, you know, we don't touch anything, cool. just basically. Because uh, the farmer would not let us in there, and yeah. if they did let us in there, they'd clean it up. Oh, of they'd take yeah, all the dead bodies out of there and that, so. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's sad and it stinks in there, it's horrible in there, there's feces everywhere, there's suffering, the birds are suffering yeah. really badly, and um. Well, fair play, man. I like your work, I just, um, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to come chat to you and see what people like with you. Thanks, brother. Like I said, when I go on Facebook and see all the videos and stuff, you always see the... So you see me mostly on Facebook? I'd say Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I just find it interesting. So it's oh, cheers, way. brother. Yeah, you know, like, whatever's holding you back, like, those small well, obstacles... To be honest, it's more gradually getting to that point. So, for example, like, when I eat, if I eat something that, like, that may come... So it's okay. I don't know what you're going to say before I say this, right? Yeah, so all right. I've, I've, so where do you eat it? Where, do you know this is a red tractor approved facility? Yeah, red tractor. Does it? It's like, so where do you it's get like yours from? Free range. So it's so yeah, free range means not too much yeah, either. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they'll have less birds in a barn, but they yeah, yeah, they are yeah yeah. But again, it's like the point is kind of get to the point. So where do you get your chickens from? I just want to know because most chickens here are factory farm. That's all statistically. Uh, well, I can tell you exactly where they come from, but it sounds like the way in which they're... You know, because... decisions around, like, where they're raised. Yeah, yeah, but you don't even know where they're raised, you know? They, no, they, no, they no, could no. have really I good just, advertising. Could happen, and I'm not going to dispute with you, because well, I know it's wrong. Because, know. like, you could look at a label. I could show you a label, and there could be a human child in that label, but I'm telling you it's, uh, I don't know, beans. And then, but if you don't, like, people yeah. can, can show you anything. Like, the, the label for this place... It's hilarious. Probably it's like, range. it's yeah. yeah, well, it's like a, a green pasture. And yeah. so, I mean, I mean, you're falling for the propaganda a little bit. Yeah, like, I'm not, because what I'm saying is I'm moving away. I'm trying to move away from that point where veganism might become a yeah. solution, right? My point is that I'm not disputing you, is what I'm saying. I don't disagree with what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, um, no. But I was just I interested if you I, are getting from a. Would go, yeah. I would say, and this is where my, I guess my interest in the question originally was, is like to go from buying chickens, right, or buying food, meat, whatever, yeah. going to buying solely vegan pro products. I'm not so saying that's what you want. It's a bit of a practical... what you want, right, obviously. But it's a difficult change to make for a lot of people, right? Can be. Well, uh, it depends if you've got the right information, it's actually quite easy, you know what I mean? Well... I mean, I actually give people information 
and uh, we actually have this free help going vegan challenge 22. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess it's sort of a combination of how committed you are to not wanting to do this to animals, yep. like how, how much, what your values are like, yep. and then um, being savvy and going, okay, well, I'm motivated. I'm going to go and yep. uh, do some swap outs, look at some YouTube videos, how to cook vegan food. I mean, the food part is one of the easiest, especially in the UK, bro. Like you can go literally in there right now and you yeah, can get a I'm vegan sure. chicken royale or you can get the normal chicken royale. You know what I mean? Yeah. So why, why, why make it like such a cruel choice and you've got like a plant one there that, you know, yeah, come on, it's not done. Yeah. Hey, we'll just come yeah. Say no worries, brother. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Uh, I appreciate you coming up, by the way, man. Yeah, no worries. You know? Have a good one, yeah? No worries, brother. You know, a lot of people, they agree that it's wrong. They agree with the position. They just haven't made that step to change yet, which is an important step. Your actions should mirror your values. You know, if you're against horrible animal cruelty, Violence, then don't cause it with your actions. I mean, just be consistent. Hey, brother, do you know what that is? Yeah, I do. Uh, this is that you in the film? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this your documentary then, or? Uh, I'm, it's not really a documentary. It's more like I'm, I did a doing a little series exposing um, UK farms. I see. And this particular shed here is a, a parent shed, parent breeder shed. So they're like the mums and dads of the chickens that people eat. So in order for those chickens to you know come into existence have to hatch out of a fertilized egg sure. people know about the chicken sheds but not really about the mums and dads so basically the forced mating facilities so they chuck about 800 roosters in with 8,000 hens and they can't escape the, the roosters the roosters are really broody and scratch up their backs and then they end up you know it's essentially a rape facility yeah 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 that's how i explained it when i was in there and they're living on like mountains of feces and then, you know they're not just doing this with animals too though, hey? I oh really? Lived in, I lived in China for a year. Oh really? You know all these wonderful families that can't have kids and they're paying $10,000 to get a kid from Asia? They have factories like this too. To breed humans? Women. Oh wow. I didn't know about that. That's true. So wherever there's money... There's exploitation. There you go. And cruelty. So but who, why do you think these places exist? Like, principally? Well, King KFC and all the rest of the gang. So you think it's the corporations that make these ha places happen? I would imagine. Follow yeah. the money, right? Yeah. So who's giving them that money, though? Well, obviously these people here. Yeah. So you think if people are like see this, they're morally against it. Do you think they should stop putting their money into those? I think you've got an uphill battle because people are generally lazy. Yeah, sure. And then they take the, um, the path Mo of least resistance. I agree. So you need like some type of conscience driving your decision in the world like this because it's so easy just to pick up a chicken burger. I think it's too far <coughs> from them. If it was their own, for example, child that was in there, it'd be a different story. It'd be more of a moral the imperative. The proximity to, for their involvement, I don't think you'll see big changes. No. So what, how do you... I mean, you... it's noble what you're doing. I'm just saying the reality of it. Yeah. So do you think like, like if people had the option there, more convenient because King actually got a vegan well, for chicken burger. You've got to beat the pricing too. Yeah, so they got a vegan chicken burger in there now. So if I show this to someone and they go in and get the vegan chicken burger for the rest of their life. Well, there's no question you're doing good and there's people that will be affected by what you're doing. Yeah, just not everyone. I just think that some people, yeah. Um, what about let, yourself? Let's, let's be honest between me and you. Mm. There's some people that have a brain and use it, and there's others that have a brain. I agree with you. Okay. I agree with you. But you seem very intelligent, switched on, and aware and lucid. So well, what, what do you feel about this? I think the thing that's interesting is a lot of my friends, like, I'm involved in the film industry, if you didn't get okay. that already, so. Okay. Um, you know, all, a lot of my friends in places like California and stuff are very far beyond sort of the average public when they're thinking about these things. Yeah. So I've got friends that are vegan to the extreme, and so uh, I'm influenced by that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. I've got one friend that if you saw me eating this, he would be upset right now because right. there's chocolate in it with sugar and dairy and all of these things, right? Yeah. So like a vegan's not really from a health perspective, although people are health conscious when they're Some vegan. Are. Yeah, but yeah. it's more from an ethics perspective of what happens to the animals. And yeah, that, and they... I, I think that there's really kind of both points of view, but I think from the ethics point of view, I think that, uh, how do we say, there's a lot of things going on, like even human yeah. trafficking, right? Of course. And I, don't, I just think people choose to keep their head in the sand. Yeah, human trafficking... It's like, unfortunate, but it's true. ...is not happening to the extent that animal agriculture is and it's actually probably against some type of universal human rights law 
to traffic well, humans. Get, if they get caught. But, but yeah, this is right, completely this is legal, sanctioned, sanctioned right. and everyone participates in it and eats their bodies. So although human trafficking is awful, yeah. it's not as widespread as this. This is trillions well, again, of animals. I, I think laws are a result generally of what makes us comfortable and uncomfortable. Oh really? We choose. All what right. do you think about it? Right? So if enough people are uncomfortable about this, the laws might change. Shift, yeah. Yeah. But you know. Well, again, I think the work you're doing is great, and it's I appreciate too bad it. this is happening. Um, you know, obviously carry on, but I think you've got a really tough battle ahead. I do. Yeah. What that about, doesn't mean it can't have an impact. You know, you can be part of that battle, or just at <laughs> least I'll, not. I'll take one. Uh, this is just uh, how to be vegan in the UK, yeah. and it's got some documentaries. This one here, I, I'd recommend here, Dominion. Um, this is one that I did on dairy called uh, Milk Make Your Own Mind Up. Dairy. Yeah, okay. This is about sexual exploitation in animal agriculture as well. So, like, I think knowledge is power. You being a filmmaker, you'd probably be delivering knowledge to people and making well, people the aware of... the reality is, is films do change people. If you just take one example, like the year that Rebel Without a Cause came out, you yep. remember with uh, James Dean back in the day? Okay. They noticed teen suicides through those car races off the cliffs oh, wow. had increased by close to 60%. Oh, my God. So it was almost non-existent before. Wow. So, film, they say that, uh, what is it, is it life imitating art or art imitating life? Yeah. And the reality is, is it's us who are influenced by the art. Yeah. So that, we could use those powers for good. Yes, or for evil. I mean, or for, yeah. you know, which is like advertising with uh, Burger King and all that, you know. Yeah. You know, but, you know, well, the so. thing that's interesting too is if you look at also, not only Burger King, but McDonald's and so forth, they're not doing it as much as they used to, but they used to have massive ties to Hollywood in the promotions, especially in their toy boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids yeah, yeah, I agree. Happy so meals. they were hand in hand, happy meals, right? And this so, is a not very happy meal. These birds not. will turn into chicken nuggets. Um, do you know what you have to do is almost have a little little sign that says, what's in your happy meal? Oh, wow. Right? Dude. You owe me 10 bucks. Dude. I that, work in marketing and advertising too. That's how I can know. You know, what's in your happy meal? Right? well, it seems like you'll be on our team if you uh, <laughs> just stop just stop buying those things that kill the animals and then well, maybe... For, cheers, buddy. So there you go, that's me showing the parent breeder sheds to the public. A lot of people don't know about parent sheds. I didn't know about them. They're a very hidden part of animal agriculture. They supply chicks to farms of all different welfare categories. So um, it's important to know about parent breeder sheds. They're always horrible. The birds are always suffering. You know, it's, they're just disgusting cesspools of filth and forced mating, which is incredibly cruel. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. What's up? five years and I've shown my friends your videos. Oh really? You know, you, yeah, you spread the word great. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name's Holly. Holly, good to meet yeah, you, Holly. Nice to meet you too, yeah. So you tell all your friends? Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> Have you t turned any one of your friends vegan? Um, mm, sometimes they go vegan for a bit and stop, but I'm just always talking it's about hard. it. It's hard. Always in the all videos, Ed's videos. Oh, right, oh, that's good. Yeah, I love Ed. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, one day though. Well, you can give, you can give uh, one of these pamphlets to one of your friends then. I will. Because these are... Uh, Little vegan guide we hand out. Oh, yeah. lovely. Great. Thank you. No worries. Thanks. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Oh. Yo. Yo. Nice to tell you that I'm a great fan of yours. What's your uh, name, bro? I went vegan because you. Really? And I've watched so many videos. Yeah, and I really appreciate Where your Where are you from? Your, uh, Spain. Spain. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I really appreciate your work and all your effort. Thank you, brother. Animals. What's your name? Sergio. Sergio from yeah, yeah. Spain. Watching yeah. my videos in Spain. Sorry? Watching my videos yeah, from exactly. Spain? Yeah, yeah, you know, supporting you from wow. Spain. And I've showed uh, so many videos to my friends about you. Oh, really? They really like it, yeah, yeah. Any really of your friends gone vegan? Some of them, yeah. Yeah, Some well. Them, I've, I've convinced them, yeah. Uh, Good work. You're an activist. Just because you, just because you. So oh, wow. Thank you so much. So I turned you vegan and now you've gone and, exactly. and affected yeah, other people. Yeah, and I, uh, turned Spread the vegan. fire. Exactly. Good work, brother. Very really <laughs> so, good. Thank you so much. Eh? Are we making exactly. a photo? Yeah, yeah, no, picture if I can. One, two, and three. Thank well, you are you in here on holiday? Uh, I'm living three months. Um, uh -huh. I'm going to study in the US. Oh, cool. So I was hoping to see you. I was like, shit, when I go to London, it would be nice if I if I see Joey or Brooklyn. Wow. Really, really? Uh, you said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw you here and I was like, that's Joey, that's Joey. Wow. Yeah, there, I know well, you. that is a very crazy co coincidence. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It is so nice. Good work, man. Hey. Thank you so much. Proud of you, brother. Yeah. Thank Keep you. up the good work. Thank you so much. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Really nice to meet you guys. Bye. See you later. See you, bro. Bye.